This week, the city of San Diego announced a major overhaul of its water department, and that includes the departure of five top directors and managers, also management to oversee the customer service division. Now, the changes come after a year of public outcry over billing accusation, accusations of mismanagement and a lack of transparency. Hot water indeed, politically speaking. Politically Speaking with Alex Prichet starts now. Welcome and thank you for joining us. You can call this the congressional show. We've got two. District 49's Mike Levin explaining something that's gotten a lot of headlines these days, the Green New Deal. What is it exactly? And do laws related to it have a shot of passing anytime soon? But first, we have Congressman Scott Peters here. He's the Democrat from... 52. Congressman, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Alex. Well, and so we have a lot to talk to talk about as well. Uh, first, Democrats in the House reacting to the president's national emergency, introducing a joint resolution that would repeal that declaration. Right now, it has at least 222 co-sponsors. First, are you one of them? I am, just like I imagine just about every single Democrat will be. Why? Think about what happened here. We all finally agreed in the course of uh, negotiating the budget that uh, the president would get a certain amount of money for what he wanted. Congressional Democrats, Congressional Republicans would all get what they wanted. We come to an agreement. We sign it. The president signs it. And that day, the president decides, well, he's, that's not good enough for him. He's going to make up this emergency and he's going to move money that we've all appropriated together in our constitutional responsibilities to things that he likes rather than the things we've settled on. So that's a, that's a constitutional crisis right there. Uh, and it's something we've got to address. There are some people that look at this and say, okay, this national emergency is already being litigated in the courts. Why have something on the legislation as well? Well, that's a good question. But look, if it violates the Constitution, whatever the Congress does after he took this action doesn't matter. It violates the Constitution. That has to be decided by ultimately by the Supreme Court that interprets the Constitution. But at the same time, we should pursue a legislative remedy because why would we want to, if, if the court disagrees with us, we want to make sure we pursue this as well. Let's say, let's get Republicans on record saying that they're not for letting the president change the deal the day he signed the deal. That's wrong. And I think it's uh, certainly not looking out for the institution we all represent in the United States uh, House of Representatives and the United States Senate. Does this further widen the divide between Democrats and Republicans in Washington? It's an opportunity to close the divide, Alex. I mean, I think the president has taken some outrageous political um, positions, we might disagree about about those, and Republicans may not want to um, leave him uh, on those issues. But look, here's a, here's an instance where he's come after the institution. We have, he's taking if if he can decide whatever he wants, he didn't like the deal to change the deal. It eviscerates the power, the constitutional power of Congress over the budget. And I would like to see Republicans stand up for that, not because they agree with the policy of the Democrats, but because they understand that if we don't stand up for this institution, um, this is another erosion of the norms that's, um, that's happened under President Trump, and I think it's bad for all of us. So let's, let's all stand together uh, for the power of Congress under the Constitution. Let's talk about the particulars of this national emergency. Uh, it would move more than $3.5 billion out of the military construction budget. And uh, the San Diego Military Advisory Council told us earlier this week, I mean, that could very well impact construction going on here in right. San Diego. Uh, I mean, how concerned are you about some of these projects? Well, I'm very concerned. If he's allowed to get away with this, one of the things we're working on is a new training facility for the Navy SEALs down in Coronado, the coastal campus. It's a multi-hundred million dollar project. It's right along the Silver right, Strand. That the Navy has told us is a priority for national security. Uh, we, ought to, we ought to continue to fund that. We're doing work at Miramar uh, to make sure that uh, we're ready for the next generation of fire, fighter jets. We are going to have to figure out how to host about 20 new Navy ships uh, off of Naval Base San Diego. That's going to need infrastructure. Those are real issues. This, no, this notion that there's an emergency around the border is wrong. Uh, the budget we provided, uh, pr the budget we just passed provided half a billion dollars for screening at San Ysidro, which is really important. That's where most of the hard drugs come in, almost all of them. Um, and there are other ways to do border security uh, along the border that would be way more cost effective than building this wall. This is a political promise, something, by the way, he said Mexico would pay for. Clearly, he's broken that promise. But the notion that this wall is, is the best way to, to fend our border or to provide any kind of national security is just wrong. Before this declaration, you know, Congress had to pass a, a funding a spending bill, mm -hmm. $1.4 billion allocated to building about 55 miles of border fence. Right. Are you happy with, with that deal? 
that was a compromise. Look, I, I thought the Democrats understood we're not going to get every, everything we wanted. I, I delivered an address uh, to the nation saying we don't want any more wall. Uh, I understand we have to compromise. That's what happens. Uh, we, want, we understood that the president compromised too. And then the day he, he, um, he, he inked the deal, he goes across the street and decides he's going to declare a national security, uh, uh, national emergency, make this up and break the deal. But we had $12 billion for the Coast Guard, uh, half a billion dollars for, um, for um, uh, the um, screening at the border. We had another um, $40 million for veterans housing, for homeless veterans, and $15 million to help deal with the, the border sewage problem down at Tijuana. All very important to San Diego. Uh, we got a lot out of that deal. We had to compromise, and that's the nature of it. We would we, think that the president should respect that.